Hi, welcome to another episode of MYD Global. I'm your host, Leanne hackman Carty. To date, I've never done an episode on landslides, but today's the day. Today I'm talking to Raquel and Yahara. They're with the Natural Hazard Center out of uh, Puerto Rico. And the actual center is located in Colorado, but they do have a presence in Puerto Rico. In particular, they're doing research around landslides, how to mitigate for them, how to prepare for them, what they are. And so stay tuned as I talk to Raquel and Yahara about landslides. Hi, Raquel and Yahara. How are you today? Doing great. Thank you so much, Liam, for having us. Yeah, I'm doing great too, and I feel really glad to be here. Well, I, I love the fact that um, I get to speak with you. Both of you are in uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, maybe before we get started on our topic, if each of you could just explain a little bit about your own backgrounds and, and what brought you to this point today. Sure. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Raquel. I currently am an undergrad student at the University of Puerto Rico in Mayaguez. And we are both currently working as undergrad research assistants at the Natural Hazard Center. And we have been working on this plan five project for almost two years now. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the Natural Hazard Center. Maybe Yahara, you want to speak to this piece. What does the center do? So the National Hazard Center basically focus on translating and sharing hazards and research information. So communities can be aware of hazards and disasters. And yeah, they also build connections with different organizations and agencies to help more vulnerable communities. And the part we most like is that they um, give training and mentoring to students and next generation so they can in the future help to communities too. And that's what we are doing right now. So are you guys physically located in a university or where, where is the, the center in Puerto Rico? Is it a physical space or a virtual space? So the National Hazard Center is located at Colorado, in the University of Colorado Boulder. But we are in Puerto Rico, Mayagüez, working virtually and student at the University of Puerto Rico, Mayagüez campus too. Okay. And so um, both of you being in Puerto Rico, I assume you've experienced your share of disasters. Uh, maybe can you just explain uh, your experience as far as you've lived through, I assume, hurricanes and, and earthquakes? Uh, maybe just explain a little bit about your experience, because I would think that has helped shape the type of work you want to do. Yes. So um, when Hurricane Maria happened in 2017, we were both uh, studying together at the University of Puerto Rico and we studied geology. And at that same time, we were taking this class that talked about landslides. And that's right when Hurricane Maria happened and thousands of landslides were triggered by them. Um, and shortly after we had this opportunity to work on creating educational materials on landslides to educate people in Puerto Rico about them. And so we were really excited to like try to be part of the solution and educate people on it. And we also, with the university, we went on like field trips to see like real landslides in Utuado in Puerto Rico. And we saw like people losing their homes by landslides and the roads being blocked. And since it happened all over the island, we also got to see that. So we were just really excited to 
worked on this and create the educational materials on them. So that was really like exciting for us. So, so tell me about, this is a topic I have done, I, I've never had a, a show on this, on landslides. So can you explain to me what, technically, what is a landslide? Sure. So uh, before explain what is a landslide, I would like to add that something that motivated us to be part of a solution is that as Puerto Ricans, we experience like month without electricity, no much sources, no university. We have to start like from scratch. And we see as Raquel mentioned, we went to Utuado, that's right in the center of the island. So Utuado located in the mountains. We see how landslide destroy several houses, homes, people lose everything. I mean, in hours, people lost things that cost them years to kind of have them. Yeah, and so, and so is it, what is a landslide? Like, how do they actually happen? So a landslide is a downward movement of soil, rock, or organic materials that is affected by gravity and affected also by the shape of the terrain. So we can have three types of landslide. We classify three, three types of landslide in the guide. The first one is rockfall, flow, and slide. So if Raquel wants to explain the difference between them. So the difference between them is actually well, there's a lot of differences, but one of them is the time it takes to for them to occur. Because landslides can be really quick, like a rockfall. It happens instantaneously, or it could be developing throughout years or more. So it, it varies in time. And there are also many factors, like Jan Haida mentioned, that can trigger a landslide. And they can happen by natural, natural phenomena or by human activities as well. And so by human activities, do you mean if, say, a lot of trees were cut uh, and then this, the soil is no longer stable? Or what, how would you define that? Cause for construction purposes. Yeah. That's one of the examples. Now, would a would a an earthquake trigger potentially trigger a landslide as well, or no? Yeah. yeah. And that's most likely what triggers them in Puerto Rico, or what would be the main trigger for a landslide there? Rainfall, definitely Pretty rainfall. Rainfall. Okay. Hmm. So if I'm listening to this and I am an individual or I'm a business or I'm a community leader, is there anything I can do to help prepare for landslides? Yes. So there are things you can do before the event happens, um, such as like avoid making cuts in steep slopes, like terrain cuts in steep slopes yeah. or constructions on steep slopes. Um, also, managing the irrigation system to make sure that uh, you are not putting water in steep slopes because one of the things that trigger landslides is when the soil gets saturated with water. Um, also, avoid making cuts like deforestation and cutting out vegetation that could also be susceptible for a landslide, and also to not build on areas that are, that you know are susceptible to landslides. And also there are things that you can do during a landslide that could help, uh, that can help you, uh, such as moving away from windows, because if a landslide comes 
into your house and breaks a window, then the sediment can enter through windows or through doors. Um, and also there are things that you can do after that we talk about that in the guide, such as um, if a landslide occurs, then helping people that have been affected. Um, if it happens to your neighbor, then helping out your neighbor and staying informed um, through social media and also reporting the damage to your houses. That's great. Well, is there, before we wrap up, is there anything else perhaps that you wanted to mention uh, to help people, whether it's, you know, more about your work or other resources or tips that you have? For me, it's really important that people stay informed. For example, this guide, we made it really visual. So the information can get to people because we are conscious conscious about how people didn't like to read <laughs> or get bored when they see a lot of text yeah. in pages. So yeah, it's really, really important to stay informed. Well, and I think, you know, it's, it's as long as you understand you're, that a landslide is a potential risk for you, and then figuring out, well, how do I try to prepare for this hazard or this risk that, that I, I'm going to experience? And, and if it does happen, what do I do? I mean, I think that's all important work that you're doing. And I will definitely put a link in the video to your guide so people can find out more. So before we wrap up, anything else you guys want to say? Um, just thank you so much, Leanne, for having us and for everyone that is listening. There is additional products that have been made aside from the Landslide Guide that can be found on the links below. That's great. Well, thanks to both of you for taking a few minutes today to speak with me. And I wish you all the best as you uh, continue your important work in Puerto Rico.